and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Peter Vigilante. And I'm Bryn Connolly. In today's episode, we will discuss upcoming campus events, Seton Hall sports, and your five-day weather forecast. United States Treasurer Jovita Carreza is set to deliver the keynote address at Seton Hall's baccalaureate commencement ceremony on May 21st. Dr. Karen Boroff, the interim provost of Seton Hall, said the administration wanted to make sure that this year's graduation had a keynote speaker after last year's graduating class voiced a strong interest in having one. And that is true. Last year's graduating class organized small protests over this perceived slight. The university reached out to Karitza two months ago because they believed that her values align well with the Seton Hall mission. There was a session held yesterday, April 18th, for those who are planning on seeking a promotion, whether that's a year or seven years from now. This informative session will help you understand how the process works at Seton Hall, the qualities of a successful application, and the pitfalls to avoid. Speakers at the event include Dr. Nick Snow, founding and DAB professor of the chemistry and biochemistry at Seton Hall, Dr. Marianne Lloyd, Associate Professor of Psychology, and Dr. Peter Shoemaker, Dean of the College of the Arts and Sciences. This session will be held in the faculty lounge of the Bishop Dougherty University Center from 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. The Market Research Center here at Seton Hall invites all students to attend their third annual Pair Up with the Pirates event today from 6 to 8 in the University Center. The event is a great opportunity for students to expand their relationship with the center while also working with alumni and business professionals. The reception will honor Peter Dumovic, Board of Trustees for the Mendham Township Library, Mike Powers, Chief Sales Officer for Garden Savings Federal Credit Union, and Scarlett Rocourt, Founder and CEO of Wonder Curl. Go to shu.edu to RSVP for this event. Ernest in Love, the play written by Anne Croswell, will be performed Friday, April 20th in the South Orange Performing Arts Center at 8 p.m. This, com this comedy embodies the night of having fun, romance, mistaken identities, and eccentric characters that can only be found in a Victorian romance. For free tickets, please contact the box office at 973-313-2787. And now we're going to take it over to Ryan Clayton with your Seton Hall Sports Update. Ryan? Hello sports fans, I'm Ryan Clayton, here to walk you through the upcoming busy weekend for Seton Hall Sports. The baseball team will travel to Butler for a three-game series beginning on Friday at 4, followed up by an afternoon game on Saturday at 2, before finishing off the series Sunday at 1. Softball will also be in play this weekend, first facing off against Lehigh today at 4 in one of their last non-conference games of the season. After that, the Pirates return home for a series against Creighton, beginning with a double header on Saturday with start times at 12 and 2.30. And the series will close with a matchup on Sunday at 12. Women's tennis finishes up their regular season on the road, first taking on Xavier Friday at 3, and will battle it out with Butler on Saturday at 10.30 a.m. Finally, we here at Pirate TV would like to wish a good luck to our women's golf team, who will be taking part in the Big East Championship on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's going to do it for sports this week. I'm Ryan Clayton. Now back to Bryn and Peter with more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Ryan. Seton Hall University will host the Theobald Smith Society meeting in miniature in this, and the 65th Selman A. Waxman Honorarium Lectureship on April 20, 2018 in the main lounge of the University Center. The Theobald Smith Society is the New Jersey branch of the American Society for Microbiology and will fe feature presentations by microbiologists from colleges and universities in New Jersey, including Seton Hall. The keynote address, entitled One Brine, Three Viruses, will be delivered by Dr. Vis Vincent Rochinello, Higgins Professor of Microbiology and Immunology at S Mount Sinai School of Medicine of CUNY at 9 a.m. A student tech bite session on file management was recently held yesterday on April 18th. The session provided tips and tricks to efficiently manage your files and different options for backing up important files. This took place from 3.30 to 4.30 and was located in the space 154 of the Walsh Library lower level. For information on more upcoming events like these, contact William Otetsky at williamotetsky at shu.edu or dial 973-275-2161. And now we're going to take it over to Erin Newpower with your five-day weather forecast. Erin? Thanks, Peter. 
Hello, my name is Erin Power, and here is a seven day weather forecast. Thursday will be rainy with a high of 50 and a low of 39. Friday will be sunny with a high of 50 and a low of 39. Saturday the skies will be clear with a high of 60 and a low of 42. Sunday will be cloudy with a high of 61 with a low of 44. And Monday will be sunny with a high of 62 and a low of 41. Now back to Brandon and Peter with the rest of your pirate news. Thanks, Erin. As of this week, Colleen Dalaval became Seton Hall's new assistant dean of students for leadership development. Dalaval, an alumna of Seton Hall University who was also married on campus, has worked with Greek life, leadership development, culturally based programming, diversity and inclusion, and with student clubs and organizations at institutions such as College of New Jersey and Hudson Community College. This is not her first position at Seton Hall. Dalaval was a freshman studies mentor and an operations coordinator for Seton Summer Scholar Program from 2009 to 2011. Additionally, she held the position of Assistant Director for Leadership Development from 2011 to 2013. The School of Diplomacy and International Relations has hired Joseph Huddleston to be a professor starting this upcoming fall semester. Joseph Huddleston received his Bachelor of Arts from Chapman University in Peace Studies and is currently completing his Doctorate in Political Science and International Relations at the University of Southern California. That concludes our broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Peter Vigilante. And I'm Bryn Connolly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.